You ready for this? Diesel, it's gonna be a good day. Shout out to Josh from Prince Edward Island. He's this truck right here. He's blocked in by Western Express over here. Uh, it's from, like I said, Prince Edward Island. He uh, was in here, I was grabbing a coffee from McDonald's at one of the rest areas here, and he came up and said, uh, hey, watch your videos. And uh, oh, I thought he was from around here. He said, no, he's from Prince Edward Island. Jeez, you Maritimers, you're so nice, you're following me. Everywhere I go, there's a friendly Maritimer. <laughs> so, uh, He's on his way. He said he's delivering about 20 miles from here. Where are we right now? I think we're near the border with Connecticut. Let me check. We're in Massachusetts still uh, on I-90. Oh, we got a little bit of a, a ways yet. We're just north of Sturbridge. And it looks like we're gonna hit I-84 and then go down into Connecticut. And then I'm going to take the 287 around New York City and make our way through Washington, D.C. That should be interesting today. Woo. All right, okay, well, just wanted to say shout out to Josh. And I'm sorry you're blocked in there, bud. He he can't get out now because this guy came here. I can't really get, I think, I think I'd still get out, but. Another uh, piece of good news right now is that our fence is being put up today at our house. So uh, hopefully he'll get that done today and tomorrow or whatever in the next couple of days. We'll have a fence around our yard so that our dogs can run off leash. That's going to be awesome. It's going to make walking them so much easier in the winter time. It's going to be uh, take a lot of stress off of myself and Britt, especially because she's there every day. Uh, can't wait to show you guys. And uh, uh, let, let's get down the road. I forget what else I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you something else. I'll think of it. I'm excited. Let's get trucking. All right, let's see if we can get around this guy. Not a very nice place to park there, bud. Walking us all in. Oh yeah, I can get out. Okay. Make sure my lights are on so people can see me. Make our way out. 1,994 kilometers to go. That's two full days of driving. So all day today, all day tomorrow. Uh, then I'll deliver this on Friday. And I still don't got a reload that I know of yet. They probably got something in the works for me though, because they always do. I did request to go home. We will see how far that request makes it. <laughs> They'll get me home. I know. I have faith. I've been out for a long time now and I had that long wait in New Brunswick there. I mean, I need to get home. I got a life, you know. My whole life isn't trucking, though uh, a lot of it is. Let's pull ourselves out here. I'm heavy. I'm sitting at 79,500 pounds. So I am barely legal to be traveling down these beautiful interstates. Good thing I'm not any fatter or they'd probably pull me in and give me a ticket. So it takes me a little while to get up to speed here. And I've gotta be very careful. It takes me a long time to slow down. I'm gonna make all my lane changes and maneuvers slowly and smoothly. But here we go. Let's get around New York. Let's get through DC. Let's get on down to Georgia. Georgia, diesel, Georgia. Where the sun shines and the palm trees grow if you go far enough south. I really want my own palm tree one day, you know? 
I really hope that by the time I retire, all of these COVID restrictions are going to be gone so that we can go on vacation to the U.S. again. Because I'm going to want to be a snowbird once I'm old. I am not... Once I'm old, I have earned not having to deal with snow anymore, I think. Straight into the sunlight. Straight into that sunlight. Wow, you really realize how dirty your windshield is when you drive straight towards the sun. So I'm just exiting onto Interstate 287. That's gonna take me all the way around uh, the city center. So I don't gotta go through that mess. Which way is this? Midland 287 this way. Everything's under construction here, so. And it doesn't help that the sun is right in my eyes. Look at this, that's a mess. Oh, they barely squeak through here. There you go. There we go. This should be a little bit smoother, smoother traveling. And I may also take a route that's gonna route me around uh, DC and Philadelphia and all those cities there. I was just listening to the news. Apparently they got uh, shenanigans going on in the streets there so probably wouldn't affect me at all going down the freeway I'm not really too worried about it but just in case I don't want to get stuck in traffic I'm not two people yelling at me here no I'm taking 287 Karen thinks I'm taking the long way she's right there's a reason for my madness it's to avoid all the other madness just in case, you never know. You never know. I don't want to be part of any of that. wouldn't be driving through the northeast if there wasn't at least one massive traffic incident. I don't know what's going on here, but there's a lot of flashy lights coming up ahead here and people are getting impatient. Starting to drive like a bunch of morons. What is this? Oh wow, whole bunch of... Looks like there's a, a big rig tow truck there. It's hard to see because it's... At, at night, I can't see nothing from here, but I do see a big rig tow truck, which would make me think that there's probably a big rig that he is towing. You know, I, I have these thoughts in my head. Sometimes they make sense. All right, everybody, rubberneck.
let's all slow down. Let's all take a look. Wow, that's a lot of lights. Wow. impatient at the back of the line I guess and he's trying to get by everybody I don't know why people think that that's a good idea I don't know why and then you know they come to a bridge or something and they can't get in and now all the emergency vehicles that are supposed to be coming down the shoulder for the accident are blocked that was that guy genius oh he doesn't know how to use his signals up there either that makes sense you really got to wonder where some people get their licenses from you know like man we've had problems like this up in Canada too where uh you know, what, what would you call them? Cereal box drivers? They got their license in a cereal box? That's what it seems. So we put a whole bunch of new regulation and law up into effect up there now, where it's a lot harder to get your class one or your CDL now, which is, it is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because it's also very expensive now. And with the shortage of drivers, like we always have, now we have even less drivers because it's like 10 grand to get your license, I heard. And when I got my license, it was like, 200 bucks no no it wasn't even it was like 140 bucks and yeah as long as you got a truck you go take the road test you pass there you go bada bing bada boom you're a trucker <laughs> wasn't even that long ago. i mean i got my license in 2006 and uh they've stepped up regulations since then good thing i had a good trainer my dad was a veteran driver by that point already he knew he made sure i knew what i was doing but it's scary to think that a lot of drivers out there don't have that uh don't have that help and they just get given a license and <laughs> there you go here's 80,000 pounds of hurdling steel have fun try not to hurt anybody okay that thing by your by your finger there that's a signal it's optional but if you want to use it it's pretty cool don't have to and you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of regulation but some regulation okay I just like there to be like you know a reasonable amount and I think that the the regulations they've brought in for getting your license now is good uh, I think that they've made a, I've, I think they've made it safer, made it better. Uh, because it was getting crazy, you know? Because up in Canada, we, we haul more than 80,000. We haul, like I can haul 87,500 in this unit up there and up. Out east, I can haul even more. Uh, some units, you know, they're hauling upwards of 120, 150,000 pounds. And, uh, you know, they're just giving the keys to these drivers who have who, who they used to be giving the keys to these drivers that had like no training and then they throw them out into the mountains in BC or northern Ontario on those two lane highways and they're like all right bud have a good trip eh you know the number for 911 right all right have fun uh, I think it's good that we uh we make sure that people who are uh, guiding these trucks down the highway among us are trained properly and I'm not a trainer, okay? I'm an entertainer, but uh, I do like what I do, okay? This is one thing I'm good at. <laughs> I got this. I can find a place to park for night. 
close by Harrisonburg. People are parked all the way out here already. Look at this. I don't want to park out here. First of all, there's no parking signs right there. And I don't like parking on the side of the highway like this. I just find it risky. So let's see if there's anything for us in the rest area. I have my doubts. What do you guys think? Can you see? I know this uh, camera sometimes doesn't pick up so well at night. You just have to trust me, it's packed. It's right packed. Okay, where are we gonna park? This guy didn't even try to straighten out. Oh nice, this is one of those rest areas where it's the parallel parking only. So only like 10 trucks can fit in here, but we've tried to fit in 20. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be going on to the next one. I think the next rest area was in 30 miles or so. This is always the, the name of the game late at night if you drive into the night on the East Coast. That's what, one thing I like about the Midwest. Oh, can I fit in here? Can I fit in there? I don't think I can. No, it's a little bit too small. Ah, oh, come on. Well, how about up here? Can I fit it? There are no parking signs there. Shoot. All right, well, I still got time left. We'll just go on to the next rest area. Look at these guys all parking here. I don't like parking on the side of the highway like this, especially like this guy here on the left. And these guys over here. Man, if somebody blows a steering tire just as they're coming past here, all of these trucks are gonna get clobbered. We really gotta find a place to park soon then. I think the next rest area is coming up here soon, though I have my doubts that I'll be able to find parking. But we'll see, we got lucky last night. So far we've always found somewhere to park. According to the Trucker Path app, there's some parking here at the Liberty Truck Stop. I think this is what, Harrisonburg? Turn right, then your destination will be on the left. I'll have to double check. Where do you want me to turn right? Right in here. I've never actually stopped here before. Liberty Truck Stop. Let's see if they actually have parking. Or if the app was lying. Continue on South Main Street for one kilometer. There's already people parked up here, so chances are there might not be any parking back here, but we'll see. This is actually quite a big truck stop. I had no idea that this was even here. Wow, there's gotta be like a hundred parking spots here. Thank God for the Trucker Path app. I like that thing. Hey, and if you find a truck stop with space, the more people that use the app and update parking lots and stuff, the better it works for everybody. Let people know when there's parking. The app said there was some parking here. Well, Weasel, how does it feel, man? How'd you feel being back on the road? Tell the good people, tell them. Well, it feels nice, it's very nice. Everything's very nice to you, Diesel. As long as you get your food and your treats. So uh, our fence got finished today at our house back home and uh, my mom went by there to take some pictures for me and send them to me and Britt uh, video called me once uh, she was at home there and showed me it all. It looks great. It looks awesome. It turned out very well. So I can't wait to get home and actually see it in person. We can now let our dogs out in our yard off leash. They can burn their energy, chase each other around. I can't wait to take Diesel back there. He can chase Chevy around. Diesel, or is he going to chase you? No, he's no, you're going to chase Chevy, right? One of the two. You're still pretty fast, man. You can get him. You miss Chevy? Of course he does. 
So I can't wait to get home. They can uh, and run around now in our yard again. Oh, I'm glad that, that got done before winter. I, w I was really honestly expecting to only get it done in spring because it's the end of the year. We've already had a few snowfalls already. Frost is going to set in in the next month. And uh, no, they squeezed us in. Got it done in one day. And apparently it looks great. It's perfectly in line. It's perfectly level. It's sturdy. It's not flimsy. And it's exactly what we wanted. So I, I'm really excited about that. So it's time to go to bed now though. <sighs> we found a spot at the Liberty truck stop. Oh, I was gonna tell you what town this was in. What town are we in, Diesel? You know where we are? I have no idea where we are. I don't know. Where is this? I think it's Harrisburg. Oh, Harrisonburg Travel Center. Yeah, that's where we're in Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania. Harrisonburg, Virginia. Not Pennsylvania. Virginia's for lovers. That's their state slogan. So yeah, I'm going to bed here anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, spread the video around. Talk about Trucker Josh everywhere you go. See if we can get this channel up to 150,000. You think we can do it? I mean, we made it to 100,000. I bet we could do 200,000. But let's set our goals at like 150, okay? 150, let's see if we can get there. You think we can do it? Not this year, maybe by the end of next year? I don't know, I'm not really growing that fast. I got a good base, a good audience that tunes in every night, but I haven't really been attracting the masses. But maybe with your help, we can do it. I don't know, we're gonna keep trying to grow. So uh, see uh, see what you can do to help me out if you want to. If you, if you don't want to, if you just wanna sit there and watch my videos and go watch the next video after this, and uh, that's totally cool too, I don't care. Thanks for watching this one though, I'll see you tomorrow.